Hello, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading starting the week of September the 14th up until September the 22nd. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. With Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right. Hello, hello, my beautiful Leos. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my beautiful Leos. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my beautiful Leos are here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Leo? Ooh, look at that. Okay, so some of you guys might be dealing with an Aries, okay? I do see here that someone wants to start communicating with you because they feel like whatever it is that happened in the past has made them grow. Their energies, their heart has been growing fonder for you. Wow, beautiful energies here. Okay, thank you so much for that. So what do we have for my beautiful Leos this week? Okay, Leos, always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember that this can also be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well, okay? And remember, since it is a general reading, energies can indeed be reversed. So you can feel free to reverse the energies if you feel the need to do so, okay? So, Leos, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the... Oh, wow, what did I tell you? Someone not being able to walk away fully from you, okay? I do sense here that if somebody here has recently walked away, okay, I feel like there is still an emotional attachment. It's that sense of like, well... You know, you either had to cut off communication, not because you wanted to, but but because either you or them, you know, felt like they had to. Okay, we're going to figure out what exactly is going on for my beautiful Leos this week. Yeah, so, you know, I do feel here that you are dealing with someone who you have recently disconnected with, okay? Or perhaps you guys are communicating, but not at the best of levels, okay? I do feel here that this person is not a person that likes to show a lot of emotion, okay? This is not a person that shows a lot of emotion. I do see here that Leos, you are coming into options. You have a lot of options, and you know what? I'm picking up on the energy where this person is feeling a little bit threatened by your amazing energies. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at this person wants a brand new beginning with you. Okay. I do feel here that you are dealing with a person who is displaying some kind of bravado. Okay. Look at this. It's like, oh yeah, well, Leo's, um, you know, I'm going to disconnect from you and I'm no longer going to call you and I'm going to block you or just not respond to your messages or whatever, you know, but I feel like at the end of the day, what this person really is trying to do, okay, is to get you back to communicate with them, okay? It's that form of bravado, like, oh yeah, I'm not going to show any emotions, right? But it's like, Again, because of their ego or their lack of self-esteem, it could possibly be that this person has some kind of a pride issue. Okay, I'm sensing pride issue. They don't want to be the first to reach out, to react, or to show any kind of vulnerability, okay? I do sense here that there is a lot that this person wants to tell you. Look at this. They want to tell you so much. I feel like they've been kind of going deep within their psyche. They're just, they keep thinking about, 
how to tell you this. When are they going to tell you this? When are you going to speak to them? When are you going to reach out to them so that they can tell you whatever it is that they have been wanting to say to you, okay? I feel here that they want to have a conversation with you about starting something anew, okay? I'm feeling this energy of planning. It's like they're trying to plan. See how this, you know, this energy of like, okay, let's plan the future. I want to plan some kind of new beginning, okay? They're planning on reaching out to you soon to tell you everything that's been on their mind, okay? Whether this is you or them, but I feel very strongly like it's your person. I feel here that there's a lot that this person has in their heart, okay? I feel here that there's a lot of love in this person's heart. They did not mean to, you know, maybe back away or whatever, but there is something that stops them. I am gonna see what exactly is going on here. There's something here that's still stopping this person. You know, it could be fear, it could be ego, pride, or some kind of a control over their emotions. They just want to be in control of their emotions. And it's like this need that this person has that they want to always be right. Does that make sense? It's like that kind of ego um, situation that I'm picking up on. Because look at this. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. This is you. You are their happiness. You are their joy. You are their wish fulfillment. I mean, I don't care if this person has stopped communicating with you, whatever. This is all that they think about. It's like they wake up in the morning and they think about Leo. They go to bed and they think about Leo. They look at their phone and, you know, if the, there's a text message or whatever that comes through, they're hoping, they're praying, they're wishing that it is you. And I feel like for most of you guys, you guys have withdrawn your energy and you're just kind of like refusing to communicate with them, okay? But they do want to communicate with you. I feel like some of them are afraid that you already have options or that you're already in another commitment. Okay, there's this kind of fear um, coming in right now, showing up in the reading where they kind of feel like you guys have maybe moved on. It's like they think to themselves, my gosh, has Leo already moved on? I haven't heard from them. Are they already in another partnership? It's like scaring them a little bit. And you know what? They are tapping into this energy of rebelliousness, okay? Do sense here that because you have not communicated, this person is going to kind of lose, um, they're kind of like losing a sense of, um, of control over their emotions, right? And they wanna impulsively jump in. So it's like that whole energy switch from like, oh, I'm not gonna communicate with my Leos to like, I've gotta know what's going on. I've gotta know why they haven't communicated. Does that make sense? So. Keep up the good work, Leos. <laughs> okay, I feel like some of you guys that have been holding back, because you guys have given so much in the past, I feel like it's working. And now look at this. This person is waiting, waiting and watching, waiting and watching for you to make some kind of a move. And this is the week when this person is finally going to make a decision. Let's see what this decision is all about. What is this Two of Pentacles? What is this Two of Pentacles here? What is this two of pentacles? Yeah, see, this person doesn't believe in themselves. They feel like you have been a missed opportunity. They see you here as the star. Oh my God, you are this gorgeous star. There is no one that compares to you, Leos, okay? They know that there is no competition. Yeah, maybe this person might be getting attention on social media or whatever, but at the end of the day, you are their star. You are their wish fulfillment. You are that person that they want a brand new beginning with. You are the one that they are having sleepless nights over they cannot move on from you because guess what they have an emotional attachment to you and look at this it's kind of burning them inside it's making them burn inside they want to know about you they want to know what's been going on with you okay and that's why they're not coming in with this offer because they're waiting for you to do it okay but i feel here that there's a little bit of a stalemate because i feel like none of you guys are coming in with this kind of energy because look at this leo right now you're like nope if it ended you know what i'm not going back un unless they communicate right so there's like this kind of stalemate here but still at the end of the day this person does want to communicate with you but they don't believe in themselves they kind of feel like you know it's like that sense of like this person sees you on social media and they feel like you have all of these options all of this attention all around you all of these people that love you that adore you okay they know that about you they know that you are a very loving person okay and you are very loved by a lot of people and they also feel like they're unworthy of your attention they might feel like a, a little bit like oh well leo must are have already been moved on has already moved on you know like that's what's keeping them from approaching you fully also their pride and ego okay i have to also say that but let's go ahead and 
get some clarifiers here. Um, I want to know exactly what this Eight of Cups is. What is this Eight of Cups for Leo? Yeah, so see, this person wants you back. They want to return to you, okay? They want to compromise. They want to reach some kind of a compromise. But there's some lack of trust. I feel like Leos, you right now are kind of like easing off from giving so much of yourself, whether it's to this connection, whether it's to your friends, family, whatever, there's a connection here that you have given way too much. And you know that there has to be a balance, okay? So that's why if you have been retreating your energy, you know the reasons why, okay? I do sense here that this person wants to reunite with you because look at this, the lovers, are you kidding me? This is a divinely guided union. For some of you guys, you might be dealing with a twin flame. It doesn't have to be. I see Sagittarius here, Gemini, okay? Any of the air signs, Scorpio, Aries, okay? Earth signs, water signs, any of the signs. I see all of the signs here across the board, okay? But I do sense here that either you or them have some kind of trust issues. They have trust issues and they don't believe in themselves and they feel like you have other options. So they kind of have that kind of trust issue. They know that you get attention. They know that you are gorgeous and beautiful. Okay. And so that's why it's keeping them away from moving forward with you. And I feel like you don't trust this person fully for you to initiate. Okay. For those of you that have not been initiating, because you kind of feel like you have already put in a lot of work. Okay. I feel like this person is slow slowly opening up to you okay because look at this they feel like you have been a missed opportunity so i do feel the sense of this person making some kind of a decision this week okay i am i'm also picking up on the energy where again leo's like there's this kind of dilemma here okay there's a dilemma here uh between this person and their mind it's like they have a dilemma between their mind okay this is their mind and their heart it's it's that dilemma between mind and heart okay it's like they're all connected i do sense here again like this kind of prideful energy coming in where this person who you're dealing with they tend to think very negatively at times and so that energy of negativity is what makes this person kind of come in and out out of out of your life okay it's not an excuse it's their own you know self sabotaging things going on within them but i know that it does affect you okay i feel here that it does have an effect on you so this person is slowly coming your way okay i do feel that they do love you okay and they feel that you've moved on for some of them they feel like that you have moved on and they ask themselves leo have you moved on already maybe some of you have okay so um, I do sense here also that there is a brand new person coming your way, okay? I feel this might be a brand new person for some of you guys that no longer want anything to do with the past. It's a brand new person coming in, but I do feel here that they are slow to open up to you, okay? I do feel here that this person coming in is someone very stable. They see you as marriage material. They see you, you know, this is marriage material. This is a person who really wants to take the time to get to know you, okay? They're not going to rush you they're going to want to take the time to get to know you and they will also want you to take the time to get to know them so that they can feel comfortable enough to open up to you okay so there is an offer that is coming your way okay uh, I do sense here that, you know what, this person's going to give you the love, the support, the caring that draws them into you, okay, Leo? They do feel that you also provide that. They feel like you are a caregiver, a provider, okay? And I feel here that this person, whoever it is, whether it's brand new or someone from your past, okay, one of these two individuals will be making some kind of a decision this week, okay? But let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for my beautiful Leos this week. What do my guides and angels have for Leos? Yeah, so you know what to do, Leo, okay? For some of you guys, you know that you no longer want to communicate with this person. Others of you guys are just waiting for this person to get over their prideful energy and for them to communicate because they do want to communicate. They do want a new beginning and they do want to come in, okay? They're wondering about you. Others of you are focused on your life purpose, on your on your job, on your career, on what you do for a living, okay? So I do sense here that for some of you guys, you're just you're enjoying this time to yourself, you're enjoying this time to to live your own life and to create your own journey, okay? Here with a life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in any way that brings you great joy to yourself and to others, okay? And here with you know what to do, Leo's 
Angel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Okay, so you guys know what to do. All right, Leos, that's what I have for you this week. But I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did. And let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.